In last video, we have discussed about different steps involved in FEM, about elastin and its characteristics, and also about time step. In this video, we will discuss about shell element formulations, that is, EL forms, and also the difference between active safety and passive safety. What is the difference between EL form 1, 2, and 16 for shell elements? EL form 1 is the first element in LS Dyna which is developed by Hugis Liu. It's an underintegrated element which is having only one integration point at the center. EL form 1 is 2.5 times more expensive than type 2, that is EL form 2, expensive in terms of computational time, but effective when large deformations are expected. As discussed, it has only one integration point at the center, but if you observe, here we are having five integration points. These integration points are nothing but NIP, number of integration points along the thickness. These are also nothing but Gauss integration points. EL form 2 is the default element in LS Dyna, which is developed by Belisco Say. It is also an underintegrated element similar to EL form 1, which is having only one integration point at the center. EL form 2 is preferable if speed is desired. If you want to complete your problem very quickly, then go with EL form 2. There may be chance of overclassing if you are using EL form 2 for shell elements. EL form 16 is a fully integrated element which is having 4 integration points at the center. It is 2.5 times more expensive than type 2. This element type is preferable when accuracy is desired. For crash, it is recommended to use EL form 2 with star control over glass. For triad element and quad element, EL form 16 is preferred. For tetra, EL form 10. For hexan penta, go with EL form minus 2. And for beam elements, EL form 1 is recommended. If you are using spot wheels, go with EL form 9. What is active safety and passive safety? In order to protect the drivers and co-passengers, Car manufacturers often implement various safety features in their cars to prove their brand is safer when compared to the competitors. These safety features are often divided into two categories. Those are nothing but active safety and passive safety. The terms active and passive are simple but important terms in the world of automotive safety. Active safety is used to refer the technology assisting in the prevention of the crash. Or we can tell in another way, active safety features helps to minimize the chance of accident. For example, mirror, brakes, steering system, anti-lock braking system, etc. Passive safety features, on the other hand, are the systems that are passive until called into action. They become active during the accident and are aimed to help minimize the damage from the collision. Passive safety equipments helps to minimize injuries or damages of human in case something goes wrong. Or simply we can define passive safety helps to protect occupants during a crash. For example, airbags, seat belts.